Welcome back. It is the Buckmaster Show on uh, this Monday, March the 8th, and it's time for our monthly interview segment. I love doing this segment because we always learn so much good information and get some great tips about how not to be a victim of a scam. Our scam alert is presented by the Better Business Bureau of Southern Arizona. It's always a pleasure to welcome the CEO of the BBB, Pam Krim. Pam, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Pam, I... 2020 was the year of COVID, we know, but it was also the year that scams just exploded. They went off the chart, and they went in many different directions this time, and still are evolving. You're absolutely... Not in a good way. Exactly. Wouldn't it be great if I didn't have any content to bring you? (laughs) Oh, my goodness. You've got a lot this month, I'll tell you. (laughs) Yes, we just finished our um, our white paper on scams for the year, and uh, in this past year, we had a 25% increase in participation on our scam tracker. So we had 25% more people um, reporting scams. And and that's because, number one, it's better well-known, but also we have so many people that are doing online purchasing, and that's one of the largest areas for scams. Yeah, and to give folks a little bit of context to that, that's more than 46,000 scams were published on the BBB scam tracker in 2020. That's amazing. Right. And you know that what's published is, a, is, is very much under what's actually it's happening. Tip, it's the tip of the iceberg. Right. Exactly. Yeah, because you could almost multiply apply it by 10. Probably. Yeah. Probably. So that's a lot of people. Uh, so that's a big jump over 2019. And uh, for the first time, you had uh, some different age groups that were really checking in. We saw some shifting of that. You know, over the last two or three years, we have seen that the younger portion of the population population 18 to 25 to 30 um, are, are having more involvement with scams than even the elderly. But this year, we actually saw that they were losing the same amount of money as those that are uh, over 50 or 55, which usually lose more because yeah. they usually are involved in more expensive things. Mm-hmm. Um, but the um, 18 to 24 are caught up. So it almost like it's spread over all age groups. Exactly. Uh, how about online purchase scams? Was that at the top of the list of the most common scams? Yes, it was. It grew immensely. Uh, 57% said they're purchasing online when they didn't do that before. Wow. And 98% of the people report a scam uh, to BBB to warn others that is their motivation? Yes, you know, we know, and, and, and that's so important, too, because a couple things. One, we know that the real solution to scam is education. Mm-hmm. So we really try to get people to our website for educational purposes. And with that, we've been able to estimate that having that high amount of folks coming to our website, that literally we can monetize that to about $21 million that we helped avoid being scammed, right. which is really what our mission is, yeah. you know, obviously to get the education out, but the, but the, the home run is to, to be able to save people from losing, losing money because 99% of the time you never get anything back. You know, scammers, I just thought of this, they're a little bit like viruses when, right. you, think, when you think about it. Like the COVID virus and the, is constantly evolving into really bad variants. But when you think about it, the scammers have been kind of like changing their methods too, didn't right. they? Right. Remember, it used to always be by the telephone. They yeah. still do it by the telephone. In fact, driving over here, I got the call oh, about did? my social security breach oh, yeah. and that I was going to be arrested. Oh, yeah. Um, so I got that this morning. <laughs> so they now have evolved to email and texting. Uh-huh. Um, and because they started with mail, then they went to phones and they've progressed. So they go where people want to be connected with. And we know a lot of people and a lot of business people and consumers like to communicate through text and email because it's faster and it's your time selection on when to deal with it. You know, a lot more time is spent online. And I think you actually have some concrete numbers on this. 43% of your respondents said that they were spending more time online because of COVID-19. Right. right. That does not surprise me, that number. It's high, yes, but uh, every, think about it. People buying more and more online, and there's even a number for that 
what is it, 57% say they're purchasing more online. Right, they're pushing the button. Yeah. And and so that's why we're seeing here in southern Arizona just an increase for my operations team to handle a lot of these, you know, that that come out to be complaints or reviews. Um, We're seeing an increase of over 35%. So our staff is working 35% harder to process information for our um, our community. Let's talk about kind of the five riskiest scams. What scams are you currently seeing? Well, obviously they're all tied to online. Mm-hmm. So that's really the underlying theme. And it's interesting that they didn't really change this year. So the scammers have found a good thing and they're sticking to it, right? Mm-hmm. So we have um, the, the fake money you know, and the money order and the fake check. Uh, We have the romance scam, which always just breaks my heart, and home improvements. And trust me, the puppy scam is still right up there. I was just going to ask you, is that cute little puppy still being used? Yes. Mm, That picture of the cute puppy. It's so sad. So, Uh, you know, I really really would ask your audience to go to mm bbb.org forward slash risk report and you Mm -hmm. can learn so much because that's when we really slice and dice the information down to a lot of detail and of course scammers know that a lot of people are at home working online and they also know that uh, uh, their dogs and cats uh, are with them uh, in their home offices so the scammers decided well pets would be a good avenue to uh, attack and that's right that's where they go And, and not only pets but the products related to exactly keeping a pet and that's why i you know i i it, it, i always go back to one rule that i o- always want people to think about is if you're on facebook or you're mm-hmm. on social media don't buy from that go off of that platform go to the direct website and also go to bbb.org and investigate it or google mm-hmm. and you'll see the reviews of the companies that pop up in order to get that emotional buy in and the per- personal protective equipment. You, that's another huge yeah, one. Yeah, it's huge. You don't know where some of that's coming right. from. Uh, some of it may be coming from China or places, and you may not see it for, if you're ever going to see ever it for a long, see it. Right. a long, long time. Or their child's masks when you get them instead of adults. Oh, you know, geez. just different things, and you've waited eight weeks. Yeah, wait eight weeks. It's bbb.org slash scam tracker. Right. Uh, let's talk a little bit about, let's uh, advance uh, what's going on with your annual Torch Award presentation. We're very excited because, once again, uh, the wonderful people at South 32 jumped in oh, and they are, are going to be involved again. Good. They're going to be for three years. They've committed wow. to us. So we have a wonderful relationship with them and they do such great, fine, ethical work. It's great to have them on board. Um, also, we're going to be using this similar uh, and even more online um, uh, platform by Audio Visual Management, which is another very successful company here in Tucson that does audio visual management all over the world. And we're lucky to have a great relationship with them. So we'll be using a platform that allows us not only to have a lot of video and live content, but also a networking element. So mm. it's you check in and you can actually be seated at a table and virtually have conversations and walk around, quote, the ballroom. So it's very mm. exciting, um, kind of cutting edge. And, and we, we did it last year and this year it's even a better platform. So we're excited about it and we have um, also Suncrest Wealth Management is another very steady wonderful wonderful supporter of ours and Cox Business and Cox Media stepped up in a big way this year so we were very fortunate that all of our sponsors came through Um, even though we weren't going to have a live show we were going to have a virtual show and we're very excited about it what about the date have you set the date the date is May 6th so it'll be, uh, it's usually, I think it's going to be about 5 or 5.30. Mm-hmm. So we'll have some networking before that. And there'll be a lot more information coming out on our social media and on our website about it. We've had, so, we had an unbelievable amount of nominees, higher than we've ever had, over 125. Oh, wow. Uh, so hopefully maybe next, we, uh, next month we can talk about the nominees too. That would be great. So to find out more about the event, just go to bbb.org slash Tucson Torch. She's on Torch. That's right. All right, Pam Krim, always a pleasure. Lots of good information. Uh, just start at the bbb.org slash scam tracker and bbb.org slash Tucson Torch. Thanks, Pam. Thank you, Bill. All right, the Buckmaster Show continues in the Green Things Zocalo Village Studios. Be right back. 